Raymondville is the home of the Comeback Kings. First at home against Sinton, they come back to win, then on the road at Rio Hondo, and then on Friday on the road against Laferia. Jesse Valladares, we talked about it, 290 and five touchdowns for him as Raymondville comes back to win their third straight come from behind victory in the second half. And I was talking about it, guys, in the break. Makes you wonder what would have happened if there would have been a second half for that Raymondville Port Isabel game. Wish there would have been, but now Raymondville back home and they're going to take on LaGruya. Uh, Dennis, your thoughts on Raymondville, LaGruya, and how this game is going to turn out? Well, I think most people see this as the winner of this game plays, essentially, eventually plays Kingsville for maybe the district championship. Yeah. Maybe this game is in itself the district championship. We don't know that yet, but it should be a good one. Guria looks really good. Raymondville's obviously done what they've done to this point to, to get here, so it should be a good one. All right, what's your pick? I have Guria. All right, there's one for Guria. Said it last week, I say it again, unless there's some urgency, Raymondville doesn't look that good, and so it's not a good thing to be up on them, and I think that they're coming in. Raymondville again, I'll pick them. They've got so many playmakers on both sides of the ball. This is going to be a fun game to watch between Peña Blanca, Valladares, Camarillo, all these guys. But I'm going to go with Raymondville at home, especially if they're down at the half. Guys, well, real quick, we didn't get to talk about it in the 35A segment, but uh, uh, Diego Chrysler and the Sherland Rattlers didn't miss a beat. Of course, Lance Madden was out for this game. Chrysler comes in and throws for over 200 yards. Uh, any surprises here? I guess Sherland's the luckiest team in the world to have, you know, two Two quarterbacks as good as they've got, Dennis. Yeah, what a nice problem to have. You can go to whoever you want, put them under center, they'll score touchdowns. And that's Sherland just being Sherland. Yeah, Edinburgh North, we talked about their defense. Uh, you better start looking at this team even more. It's in the right month, at least, you can do that because uh, they're coming. That, that's real deal offense. Yeah, they definitely are coming. Diego Chrysler looking good. Today on Action 4, stay tuned. The NFL Today on CBS begins in just about three minutes, followed by New England Patriots at the Cincinnati Bengals, and then Peyton Manning and the Broncos invade Jerry World. It's the Broncos at the Cowboys at 325. We've got a special encore edition of Sunday Sports Extra tonight at 1035. This week we've got three games you can watch on Thursday, 10 you can listen to on Friday, and two more you can watch on Saturday. It's 15 games on valleycentral.com, folks, and come right back for Friday Sports Extra on 1020. I want to thank Dennis Silva from The Monitor for joining us this week. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Valleycentral.com is where you can check out this show later. Dennis, thanks so much for joining us this week. I appreciate it. Thanks All for right, me. that is it for Joe Bowling. I'm Clay Williams. We'll see you right back here next week for our next Sunday Sports Extra. Enjoy the NFL on CBS.